In Hamilton Hall, Johanna King Slutsky's advocacy for sustenance was met with indifference, denying her the very basics of food and water. Why should the university be obligated to provide food to people who've taken over a building? Uh, well, for, first of all, we're saying that they're obligated to provide food to students who pay for a meal plan here. But you mentioned that there was a request that food and water be brought in, unless I'm missing. To allow it to be brought in. I mean, well, I guess it's ultimately a question of what kind of community and obligation Columbia feels it has to its students. Um, do you want students to die of dehydration and starvation or get severely ill, even if they disagree with you? If the answer is no, then you should allow basic. I mean, it's crazy to say because we're on an Ivy League campus, but this is like basic humanitarian aid we're asking for. Like, could people please have a glass of water? But they, well, they, they did put themselves in that very deliberate thing, in that situation and in that position. So it, it seems like you're sort of saying we want to be revolutionaries. We want to take up this building. Now, would you please bring us food and water? Nobody's asking them to bring anything. Every, we're, we're asking them to not violently stop us from bringing in basic humanitarian aid. They're stopping the delivery of food. I, we are looking for a commitment from them that they will not stop oh, it. But they haven't it. stopped it. We, well, I don't. I'm not. I don't know to what extent it has been attempted, but we're looking for a commitment. And the in contemplating the use of university resources to bolster an occupation rather than engaging in constructive dialogue or lawful avenues for addressing core issues, one must delve into the underlying motivations propelling Johanna King Slutsky's actions. How do her actions resonate with the essence and mission of confronting injustice? It prompts inquiry into whether her demands stem from a genuine humanitarian impulse or from a quest for dominance within institutional power dynamics. Striking a delicate balance between individual liberties and societal responsibilities is paramount. Emphasizing individual agency and self-sustainability underscores the notion that one shouldn't depend solely on institutional provisions for basic necessities while engaging in acts of civil disobedience or protest. Understanding Jan King Slutsky's identity as a lesbian activist rooted in democratic principles and labor advocacy provides insight into the driving forces behind her pursuit of social justice. Her activism is intricately woven into her demands for societal progress.